Hey, Google, play the latest episode of Swing Shift Side Hustle. All right, here's the latest episode of Swing Shift Side Hustle. Hey there, podcaster. My name is Ashan Man, radio broadcaster, podcaster, and podcast producer. Today's video is powered by Agora Pulse and, of course, brought to you by my podcast, The Swing Shift Side Hustle. You can get that link for that podcast down in the description below if you ever want to check it out. So today we're talking about whether or not your podcast is inside of the brand new Google Podcasts app for Android. This is something that really doesn't have to deal with anything that has to deal with Apple. It has more to deal with Android devices. You can't get Google Podcasts on an Apple device. So we're specifically focusing on Google Podcasts. So because Google Podcasts or Google is jumping into the podcasting game so late and Apple's been on it for years, uh, there is not really an easy system as to how or whether or not you know your podcast is listed in the right places. So let's start from the very beginning. Okay, so we talk about the fact that you've created a podcast and now that you have all these episodes, you now put them into a hosting service like Lipson, Blueberry or wherever you're putting your podcast hosting. And now you need to submit that RSS feed that you get from your hosting service into the podcatchers themselves like Apple Podcasts, Stitcher. Uh, you need to go ahead and put it in Podbean. There's a ton of syndication platforms that you can put it on. One of those platforms being Google. Now, Google, like a couple years ago, decided, hey, let's go ahead and make podcasts available inside of our Google Play Music application that is not only on the phone, but is available on desktop. It's a web-based version to listen to music, but podcasts could be now found there. Now, when podcasters uh, submit their podcast, they actually have to do it through a podcast portal that is found on Google. And I'll go ahead and leave a, a link for that down in the description if you're watching this on YouTube. Now, when you go submit your podcast to Google Play Music, you have to go through a similar process as if you were going through uh, submitting your podcast through Apple Podcasts. You have to submit an email. It's got to be valid. You got to have a valid RSS feed. Everything has got to be working uh, perfectly in order for you to get that podcast approved by Google po- uh, Google Podcasts. Once you get an email back from Google Podcasts, they'll say you've been approved. And of course, voila, you've got your podcast uh, inside of Google Play Music. Now, can that podcast be played on uh, Google Podcasts, the app itself? Now, based on all the podcasts that I have submitted through the podcast portal itself, um, the podcasts do show up on an Android device. So um, there shouldn't be any problem there. But for some people, there is a problem. And you have to also remember that Google Play Music, I believe, is only available for the US and Canada. So it's possible that your podcast not, might not even be available on Google Podcasts, the app for Android, all right? So how do we fix this problem, all right? Well, we have to take a couple of steps before we jump into this, okay? Uh, first, we wanna say, okay, yeah, we wanna get into Google Podcasts, but we, all, but we also want it to show up on a home device, a Google Home device. Google also has an app called Google Assistant, and you can ask that assistant, which is basically the same operating system that is running on Google Home, you can ask it to play your podcast as well. You can find that assistant on an app on your phone, but it's also using the same operating system as this device right here, okay? So what we need to do is we need to collect a little bit of information before we go and we submit our podcast to Google Podcasts and be available in these areas, all right? Number one, we need to go to our hosting provider, okay? Whether it be Lipson, Blueberry, Podbean, Spreaker, wherever, okay? And what we need to do is we need to go into the settings. So let's just jump on over to the computer right now and let me show you what we're talking about. So we gotta jump over to our settings and we gotta go to edit show settings. This is obviously in Lipson. And wherever you are entering in the show information, the required information, so that this can show up inside of iTunes or wherever, Google Play, wherever, you need to make sure that all of this information is complete, okay? So you're going to add, ha- you're going to have your show title, your show description, but the most important thing that you need to have here is your website address. This is why I stress so much to podcasters to have a website because Google is search, and in order to have um, Google find your podcast all together or find anything that is on the web, you need to have a website. So make sure that you have your website uh, right there, okay? This is the website where you you put your podcast, where people can find your podcast. It's your your hub, all right? So once you have put your uh, 
website in there. The next step is that I want you to go on over to my website, theshanman.com. Uh, and I have a blog that I've put up there on how to put your podcast on Google Podcasts. This also helps for Google Home, all right? And when you scroll down, you're going to see that there is a piece of code that is here, okay? And there's directions, uh, there's directions right here that you can go ahead and follow as well. But the code that you're going to be uh, you're going to need to access is this code right here that I'm highlighting. Um, it says link type uh, equals you know quote application. This you need to have for your podcast, right? And we're going to show you exactly where, where we're going to put this. All right. So most of you guys have a WordPress site. I do understand that there's some people out there that have a Squarespace site. I personally don't have a WordPress site or a Squarespace site. I've got a Kajabi site because it handles a lot more. It does a little more heavy lifting for me. And I need to go into the area where there's the code where you can you can fix the code or you can work on the code to customize the look of your website layout, okay? So in my case, we're gonna show you the back end of my Kajabi site and we're going to go in and we're going to show you where we place this particular particular code, all right? So we're gonna jump on over to Kajabi, and I need to come to my Manage Themes, and this is just for me, this is not for WordPress people. WordPress people will have maybe plugins that will do this, but for me, I need to go ahead and place some code in here, all right? So for a Kajabi site, you're going to wanna come in and come to the theme itself, and you're going to see the head tag right here. And the head tag, um, of course, allows uh, it allows you to put all kinds of different uh, tagging inside of your website. Whether you're tracking like uh, Google AdWords, whether you're track, you've got a Facebook Pixel. This is where you would put all this code. All right, and in your case for this particular, I guess, identification of your podcast, so that it can talk to your podcast hosting provider, <clears throat> you need to place that link or that code that I have on my website right there. So as you can see, there is the link that or the code that I have put it's link type and then of course I've basically copied it word for word and then of course the only thing that you will change will be uh, this right here it says swing shift side hustle your podcast will not be called swing shift side hustle and then of course uh, make sure this is in quotes right here so it's got to be in quotes exactly like this and then of course you need to have the website RSS feed in quotes as well your RSS feed is going to be found in your uh, hosting provider okay so if we were to jump on over to Libsyn we got to come over to destinations and then oops go to destinations edit or view existing and your Libsyn classic feed RSS feed should be found right there okay so that's where you would find your particular RSS feed once I have placed the code on my website I'm gonna go ahead and press save and then uh, it should be on the front page of my website. Make sure this is on the front page of your website. Now, um, if you have a podcast page, you can put this code on that particular page itself, in, uh, you know, between the head tags, make sure that is there, but it's probably best just to have it on your, your website's homepage because that's where Google is going to crawl it. So the reason why we're doing this is because once Google's web crawlers or and it come in to index your site, they're going to see that this link and this code is on your your site so that it now can talk to Google Podcasts and Google Home itself so that it can be played on the device itself. Just as you heard in the beginning of this video, you saw that I was actually able to command the device to play my podcast. Up till a week ago, this wasn't even possible. I, I didn't know how, how to do it. So, um, And there's been plenty of people that have shared this, but I don't think anyone has shared this really as I don't know if it's as clear because I don't know if this video can be any more clear than than what you read online, but this is as clear as it's going to get. So your best bet is just to go to my website where uh, all those directions are and you can find it right there. A couple of other little tips that you need to know about. Uh, you need to make sure that your RSS feed is secure. So it's gotta be HTTPS, all right? The S stands for secure. So make sure that it is there. Libsyn and all the other hosting providers should have that, but make sure that you have the S inside of HTTPS. Now, once you've gone ahead and you've done this, you can go back to my website and you can go to the developer uh, link that I have that is listed right here. And of course, you go ahead and you click on it and it will take you directly to the developer uh, side okay and once you all you got to do right here is you you can check to see if it's being indexed all you got to do is grab your RSS feed so we're gonna go ahead and copy uh, the link address and then we're going to paste the link address here uh, inside of 
uh, the area right here. And what you can do is you can go ahead and generate a link. Now you're going to get some information here. It says podcast is retrieved, meaning yes, it is listed on your website and is talking uh, back and forth between you and your, um, uh, uh, your hosting provider. Okay. And then it provides a link right here. Okay. It provides a link. So if I were to go ahead and copy this link, I'm going to go ahead and copy it and I were to open up a new tab. Um, and I pasted it, what it does is it's basically a link that will open Google Podcasts, okay? Since this is a desktop, it will uh, just direct you to this landing page. It says open in Google Podcasts. I can click on this, and this will actually take me to the Google Play Store to download and install Google Podcasts for the app, all right? So now a quick tip for WordPress users. Now, if you don't know how to go in and put code inside of your website. There are plugins that will do this for you. Um, plugins are all obviously a good and a bad thing. Um, the more plugins you install on your WordPress site, uh, the slower your website runs. Uh, but if you are someone who just is completely illiterate to the idea of copying and pasting code into the head portion of your website, uh, make sure you're looking for a plugin that can do that for you. Just a bit of warning, if you place that code that has your RSS feed, uh, I believe that the alternate you know, tag or whatever it is that's within that code itself might be removed at times. So you gotta be careful of that. So sometimes that might uh, affect whether or not your podcast is listed on Google Podcasts and on a Google Home device. One question that I had asked my, in my head was, okay, well now can I see my podcast in Google search results? And you can see this, but just know this, when Google goes and they crawl your website and make a pass on your site to make sure which links are there, what has changed, uh, you know, what blogs have been updated, um, your podcast should show up in search, okay? So if we were to come back in here and like, well, if I were to actually ask uh, Google to play my podcast, so let me go ahead and go here and you're gonna hear a lot of banging around here, hang on. Uh, oops, let's go here, let's go to Google, google.com and let's jump in and let's say, hey Google, and then you, you can see I've asked this query before, play Swing Shift Side Hustle, and there you can see it right there. It says Google Podcasts, uh, Swing Shift Side Hustle, and uh, if I were to go ahead and click on, click on it, it would actually take me back to that landing page itself. So that's how my podcast shows up in uh, in search, but I, I think of also your podcast will show up a little bit differently as well as far as how it is displayed uh, inside of the search area. So just know that your podcast will go inside the search itself. So if you have put your podcast on Google Podcasts and have it available on Google Home, leave a comment down below and let me know if the process was simple for you or if you have not put it in uh, Google Podcasts or have it available on a Google Home, let me know what your struggles are and go ahead and leave it in the comment section down below on YouTube. I'm more than happy to help you out the best that I can. Um, this is the best information that I have right now um, and there are some blogs out there that are talking about this but I figured it'd probably be best to put it on YouTube so that I can show you and um, I will try to update the video if I see any updates to this uh, so just kind of be aware the end screen will definitely have a link to the update um, I'm placing that right now into this video and baking it in so that I know later on down the line that I may need to make an update so uh, yes I'd love to definitely hear from you and see if there are any uh, difficulties in you getting this uh, set up for yourself all right and make sure that of course if you have not started a podcast and you're looking for the right equipment and looking for the right steps I have an essential equipment guide that you can check out the link is down in the description below or you can find it on the end screen of this particular video. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and of course hit that little bell button because that will notify you when I drop a brand new podcast. In the meantime, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon.